All right, and we are back, and we're headed to the Indel's Castle Capital Ball. Bale. Ball? Ballet. We're going to need to talk to the royalty here. Uh, probably visit uh, Lagitz's mother. This is a lot more earthy than I remember it being. Got a lot more brown, some hay. More like autumn colors. I thought uh, a kingdom's castle capital would be like stonish, but... There's a ladder back there. I want to get to it, but... Can't. Oh my god, it's Sir Levitz! Seems like Levitz is pretty well respected around here. We got his portrait. I'm not sure what we're going to use that for, but... I want to go down that ladder. So maybe we can go up and around. There's got to be... Yeah, okay, I see it. There's got to be something down that ladder over there. I'm just going to scour this house for stuff. I guess there's nothing. How strange. left of the castle, so we want to go there last. Because that's the correct way to go. In an RPG, you always want to go the correct way last. It seems like that drunk lives under the bridge. I'm sure there's stuff in his little hovel, but we can't get there now. Although I do want his stuff. All right, so maybe we can give that to the drunk and get inside his hovel so we can steal his stuff. It's only 10 G, so let's let's round our money out to an even 800. Okay, so we can already see there's a yellow uh, triangle arrow pointing to where we just came from, and that probably signifies uh, inns or places of rest in town. And I saw a blue arrow further to the right, so maybe that signifies a shop. Alright, so we're inside this hovel. 
I'm not sure what that got us. It's a dungeon? I'm gonna hold off on that, because that looks like a place that has random encounters. And if there is a shop in this town, I do want to upgrade some weapons first. I'm stuck on people. <clears throat> so it seems like the Empire and the Kingdom were originally one country, but something happened, they split apart in two, but they've always been a war at war since the split. And possibly the Empire has always wanted to retake the Kingdom. I feel like there's just hidden items everywhere. All right, so the yellow arrow signifies an inn and places of rest. The blue arrow does signify shops or merchants of some sort. Okay, so there is confusion in this game. I'm already feeling that 32 item limit. I need to start using the attack items more. Possibly even the... That item that made weaker enemies vanish? I don't know. If there's some sort of item storage system, that would be nice to have, too. Alright, it seems like Levitz's father was a really big deal inside the kingdom. This entire square is named after him. not find unless there's a weapon shop up here if this is a scene transition and we can find a weapon shop we cannot so we're gonna go in that dungeon stardust I very very vaguely recall that there are I want to say Stardust is a series of hidden items throughout the entire world. And it's like a giant collectathon that spans the entire game. They're not in chests, they're just places. Maybe, maybe where the yellow uh, exclamation point marker appears over the person's head, darts his head. Maybe we can find some there, but. If that's the case, I'm just talking out of my ass here, but if that's the case, I have no idea where any Stardust is at all. Interesting. There are two ways to go. I want to avoid stairways that lead up. Was that the right call? Uh, well, I'm down here now. I'm going to transition the scene back to that outside screen. I didn't get a good look at... 
I'm at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, uh, behind some grates. Is there a chest here or anything? I did not see or feel or touch any interactables there, so I'm going to assume no. Interesting. So there's a boat here. We may have to utilize this at some point in the future. It doesn't look like this is interactable from where we are now. Perhaps there's some sort of secret in the castle or something. Alright, so... I guess we'll head up to the castle now. We've been everywhere else. We didn't really find much. We found a chest and an item shop. No weapon shop yet. Can I can I get past, please, sir? Thank you. Interesting. So there's like a grate on the other side of this place. I can't open the door or interact with anything. There's a lot of things that scream at me, we're gonna do stuff later. But I wanna do stuff now! There's another blue shop. That is probably a weapon shop. It Looks like it's got like a, a shield and a flail on the design. And another yellow area. All right, so it looks like the inn will heal poison and er, heal HP, but the clinic we may have to go to the clinic to heal, like, poison. Okay. No one's poisoned and we're at full health. So there's no reason for me to be here right now. And I didn't... What's worse is I didn't find any items to steal. Unfortunate. I feel like this is a trope in a lot of RPGs. A lot of backstory and mechanics are explained in libraries. Rather than actually demonstrating them through you, or demonstrating them to you with the game. There's another person talking about Stardust, but we certainly haven't found any. 
Wait, you're gonna eat this? What are you gonna eat? Okay. I hope he's not hungry enough to eat a book. I know paper is technically edible, but... Okay. Can I get past you? Right. Let's go inside this shop. Oh! And excuse that exclamation. Oh! That's our first Stardust. Which is worrisome, because there was no indication that anything was there. I was just mashing the button. Which means Stardust could have been anywhere in the game. And I probably will not find any of them. <clears throat> oh, this is going to be a pretty significant attack increase. Going from 3 to 9. These night shields, I feel like they're going to come in handy more. I don't know, though. A poison guard would be nice, but at this point in the game, the defense a night shield brings is so significant that I'd rather equip the Night Shield. I can always use an item to cure myself of poison. Crap. I just bought a sparkle arrow. And now I get it for free. Isn't that always the way of it with RPGs? You get to a shop, you buy something, you're excited for it, and then you get it on the very first chest you find. Where does this lead? Okay. I'm gonna go back inside and exit north. I think it sort of loops around and goes back down the ladder here. This is what I'm thinking. Alright, so there's the ladder there. And I feel like we're inside the castle now. So if I explore too much, there's a chest over there. If I explore too much, I'm gonna run into the king, so... Let's get our curiosity out of the way first. I see. Okay, so that leads us to the boat. And there's probably another ladder somewhere that leads straight to the sewers from the castle. It stands to be seen, though why we would need the boat. Here I am just checking every single place, mashing X. Treasure! 50G, that's nice, okay. I guess let's go head up and see the king. Or we can keep exploring. Okay, that's there's another Stardust. I wonder how many I have to get for them to be worth something.
Okay. Is this the ladder leading down to the sewers? No, it's... It's leading to a treasure! Active ring. Is that an overall increase in speed? Oh. Okay. So it is possible to miss your attacks. I haven't encountered that yet. Okay. Okay. I don't know what dispiriting is yet. But we have protection against it now. I'm having the same problem I did in Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, the screen transitions in these old PlayStation 1 games can be a bit wonky and weird. Treasure! Energy. Okay, we're making some of our money back. And there's the king. This is actually a pretty small room for an audience chamber. So it seems as if it seems as if Levitz and the King Albert are fast childhood friends, and Levitz's capture and imprisonment weighed heavy on the King, and he's overjoyed to see him back. And unfortunately, no matter how useful Shauna has been to us in this game so far, Darts is being very overprotective and very willing to offload her in the safest place possible at the first opportunity. I, she's, at least in my opinion, she's proven more than useful. Thankfully, this king knows what's up. Even he, having just met these two, know this, knows how Shauna feels about darts. And he ain't gonna take her away from him. He's trying to be a good wingman, whether darts realizes it or not. So we don't get anything concrete about bla the Black Monster. They're just legends and rumors. But at least we can confirm its existence. The legends of the Black Monster span all the way back creatures and used 
slaves than the slaves. The enslaved suffered a terrible domination and injustice. Their anger turned to a flame of fury. Then a gust of wind blew throughout the lands, spreading the flame to a blazing fire. The wind was Emperor Diaz. Seven incarnations of dragons served the Emperor. Their bravery inspired people to take up arms. Thus began the Dragon Campaign. It was a harsh war. Both people and Winglies suffered countless injuries and fatalities. After a long period of suffering, it was the humans who acquired the future. The age of humans had begun. So the legends of the Black Monsters span all the way back to this war, the Dragon Campaign. After the Dragon Campaign is when the Black Monster was first sighted. So it seems as though a relief came to the survivors of cells from the kingdom. Uh, they took them in as refugees until the village can be rebuilt. So news of the Empire using the dragon to push against the kingdom spurs darts to action. He agrees to help Levites defend Hoax, the town at the very front of the war. Now, Levis suggests we go to the item shops and weapon shops, but we already did that. I wish we had done the castle first, because then we wouldn't have to buy a bow, but whatever. We're going to check out the king's room, because there's no one to stop us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is this guy? That is the same model of the robed man that was in the prison and that helped attack cells. Interesting. I, like, as a person, I wonder if there's anything to that or if they just reused the model. And that right there is super interesting. The king has his own personal slide. I'm Jelly. If I could install a slide to my house that goes like straight to the entryway, I probably would.
All right, we're gonna head straight to Levitz's home. Say hi to his mother. Out of my way, kid. Oh, that is a big woman. We get a little bit of romantic comedy between the three. We'll just search around the house until lunch is ready. Wow. Let's try and have Levite show us around his house. It's his first time back in a while, so I think even he needs to get reacquainted with it. So it seems like his father was so influential, influential that he had his own personal library. He's gonna show me his treasure. His treasure is the scenery of the castle. It's something he probably looked at as a child. Yeah. And he grew up with a very famed knight as a father. It's no wonder that he wanted to follow in his father's footsteps. Well, 
We could leave through the front entrance of town, but I would... I want to go check out that boat. Also, the door to the other ladder opened up. I want to know what that's about. Thankfully, I was wrong about there being random encounters here. So we just have to do a quick run. Firstly, I want to check out this ladder. I never found the way down inside the castle, so... I'm curious as to where this leads. No! No! It's gonna make me go all the way down the ladder, is it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Up we go! All that for 20 gold. It's probably still worth it. Gold is... Gold seems to be hard to come by at the beginning of this game. Every gold matters. <clears throat> Interesting. We can actually ride this boat. We haven't been told about it at all. I... We just found it, so where does it go? It's going to end up going in a, in a giant circle, isn't it? I have a feeling. I really hope this isn't just a big waste of time. Let's get off the boat. Well, we got a stardust out of it. It's a little bit time consuming, but we got something. I still don't know what the value of a stardust is, but we have it. gonna go right back to the little dock underneath the castle. So it's a giant circle just for a stardust and technically also 20 gold. Let's head all the way back to the, out of town. Shauna got a pretty powerful upgrade to her weapon, so she'll be able to contribute a lot more with her normal attacks.
I'm a little excited to fight some battles. Kill some monsters. I want to see what all we can do now. But first... I'm not sure what her deal was. Some woman named Martel? I don't know if I want to just scour everywhere looking for her. We'll spend a few minutes looking for her, see if she's actually an NPC we can talk to. She might be in the end, but I don't know. My patience is starting to wear thin. <clears throat> Let's start heading to Hoax. damage to Shauna deal in comparison. 13. That's not terrible. So I think I'm going to call this episode here after this battle. I have a feeling that hoax is going to be a bit longer. And I don't want to commit myself to it just yet. We'll be satisfied with uh, just bail. So next time we'll pick up on hoax. And we'll probably spend an hour fighting. It feels like that's going to be the case. Alright. I'll see you guys next time.